Right, who we want to win? Definitely not Tony, definitely not Ashton. Uh, Thanks. Right, so we've got. I'm cheering for Daniel. Tell me. <laughs> it's the last tilt of this particular Q12. Q12 was something we did back in 2007. It's kind of giving uh, some of you a flavour of what we're playing for at the end of the year when we were playing this particular game for about 500 quid, give or take. Uh, it will be the latest trick. So if you want to enter this, we've got two people qualified already today. We've got the net winner, who was Ashton. You've qualified for the Q12 final. And uh, <laughs> I think Tony Walms was qualified, but we'll have a look at how the results come out to see if Clive might have sneaked in there. But no doubt, if you play five or six times this year, at, at the end of the month on the Lightspeed Quitters, you'll have a, chance, a shot at Q12. The kind of thing I like about Q12 is the jeopardy involved, which means that it's not just Tony Walms when it gets to, uh, to play in the final. Uh, the final will be the first person to get 24 points. Two points for a correct answer. Lose a life if you get one wrong. Full stop. A life. I mean by life. You get three lives. Oh, I see. Good luck everybody. Cheer for your personal favourites out there. Make a lot of noise. Cheer for the good answers or a polite round of applause would be an honour. Good luck everybody, the first to 24. Best of luck to all of you. Name the symbol placed before keywords. Hashtag. Devs. Hashtag. You are currently the Two points. Uh, oh yeah, so we have got the scores going up. I thought I should put the scores in there. Good. Uh, the next question. Labelled as rowdy. Ready, Piper. Do you like that, Michael? Is that the right answer? It's a very easy first clue, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, round the applause, that's <laughs> good. That's what I was thinking about it, yes, I'm going to go into it. Was it. It was Daniel all day long, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which Sam Smith song won the Song and Record of the Year Awards at the 2015 Gammies? Gammies and Grammys! <laughs> There's a lot of people buzzing in the audience. <laughs> I think I'm not one. I think I'm not one. Just to get me wrong. Well, I can think of Daniel. Stay with me. Oh, a late pull from Daniel. He gets it. Well, it's not going to be lost, but. Yeah, it's too. Well, come on. I can think of at least two better records called Stay With Me. Better on to you in the face of Bad Way, now, isn't it? Stay With Me, baby, at least. I'm Next one. I'm blooming. Yeah? Okay. Who was the subject of the musical Spend, Spend? Yes! Um. Ashton! Yeah, yes. Yes. I'm really oh, sorry, it's never going to happen here, don't you? Them's the rules. Um, Ashton, you are correct. <laughs> Judge George King ruled that which song claimed since 1988 by Warner Chapel was out of copyright. Next question. It was, uh, unless, did you really want to commit? You don't, do you? Anybody? Oh, it. Oh. Basically, everybody in Halifax it's knew the answer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I thought you said it was meant to that song. That's why I was talking about it. Next one. Ha! Name. The Leeds Rhinos winger who scored five tries in the 2015 Challenge Cup final. I'm going to have a drink. Oh, oh Ashton! Briscoe? Briscoe, the dread dancer! Talk about living on a prayer there. Um, Quiz fans, I'd like to look at the scoreboard now in that uh, Tony is in last place. <laughs> yeah, oh. I am only right yet, that's probably why. Here we go. 
Ringo Starr's copy of which Beatles album numbered blah 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 oh 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 one? Daniel. The White Album. In which TV series did Grace Lee Whitney play Yeoman Janice Rand? Buzz everybody in the audience, what do you think, Buzz? Yeah. Buzz, 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 Buzz. <laughs> Star Trek, the original series. Next question. Yes, we knew that, didn't we, Steve? Of course we did. You can put it in the other one. You can't see there's millions of people behind me, huh? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Name the probe which flew by Pluto. Let's proceed with the next one. Go on, tell them. Oh, go on, we've got a guest. Ask them. New Horizons. Yes, Daniel, we're only just behind. On which body of water did the MV Dong Fang Ji sink in 2015 with over 400 deaths? Anybody? Yaxi. Yaxi is today. I don't know why I'm stopping the start and get no need to. In which country did Lewis Hamilton secure uh, Daniel? USA. America. His third world divers championship is today. Daniel. Daniel is a third of the way to his target. How many balls did it take Brendan McCullum? to score 50 against England in the 2015 Cricket World Cup. Stephen? What? Hang on a minute. A <coughs> four, no penalty at all. You can have a guess if you're within two. If you're within two. No. Oh. If you're within two, so you won't be penalised if you're wrong. Okay? Oh, right. okay. But I'm not going to tell you if you've been like or not, not to give anything away. So tell your answer. Twelve. Anybody else got an answer? Nine. Seventeen. Uh, anybody else got an answer? Thirty-seven. No, you were close. It was eighteen. No penalties, no points. Okay. I didn't want to waste too many questions because I've not actually gentled these up for the for the Sanders show. They are pretty brutal, I must admit. <laughs> Who played Tony? Hit the chance. Who played? A, the trombone for the specials. Oh, Tony. Rico Rodriguez. Absolutely, he died last year. Why did I know you were going to get that? Are we still in 2015? This is the oldest person in yes. the team. All, he died all, all 2015, Tony. <laughs> he died last year. That's, yeah, that, yeah, he's you know, it's not a direct connection, but yeah, it's yeah. last year. Who did, more Formula One, who did Red Bull Formula One team boss Christian Horner. Daniel. Jerry Halliwell. Imagine if it were for 500 quid. It will be. But it'd be a bit more broad than 2015, wouldn't it? It was 500 quid. Oh, yeah, yeah, but. Mm. How did George Parker Bidder get a communique? Marianne Winkler that took some 109 years to receive from somewhere in East Anglia, I believe, on the East Coast to Germany. Tell them. Message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Yeah. Message in a bottle. Oh. Oh. Set the record. <laughs> oh my God. This is like Ashton's bloody set. Which American professional wrestler and trainer who died in 20... Daniel. Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. in your mouth a little bit there. You weren't quite sure, but he died last year as well. That's just yeah. the, the coincidence yeah. of what happened whenever. Very <laughs> This is filming Daniel, isn't it? It is great moment. Just check those films and go in. This is good stuff. The Space Observatory launched by NASA on March 7, 2009 is named after which Renaissance astronomer? Daniel. Kepler. No, it's Kepler. Kepler. <laughs> Kepler. You could have lost that losing some lives now. Famous last words. Uh, 
Who beat Sean Murphy 1850? <laughs> Ashton. Uh, Bingham. 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 Yeah, I've forgotten the five minutes. Well, I would have five minutes ago. Which playwright wrote the 2015, sorry, 2015, yeah, autobiopic, The Lady in the Van? <laughs> Daniel. Bennett. Bennett is correct. Maggie Smith. Yeah. Daniel's on 18, which is actually six more than everybody else combined. Ten. How about you? Which English test cricketer and commentator scored over 10,000 runs for both Gloucestershire and Worcestershire? <laughs> Tell him. Oh, Ashton. Close. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else want to kind of go ahead first? Anybody in the audience, please? Ian Bullock. Great name. What was the nature of the exercise which left 24 West Point military graduates unconscious on August 20th, 2015? You're not going to believe this when I tell you the answer, you know. Does anybody know the answer? Can I stuff my feel there? It's a pillow fight. Oh. Pillow fight. They know how to party those guys, don't they? Guys? Guys? Self-drying jackets, flying cars, and Mr. Fusion, and Jaws 19 were all aspects of the year 2015 in which film series? Daniel, by the tenth of a second. Yes. Come on, Daniel. The, a march of triumph. Which town's air show saw yeah. mm -hmm. Tony Sean? Yeah. You know, I thought you'd gone home, Tony. I was just about to. <laughs> Who said at the 2015 MT Video Music Awards, I've decided in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Can you rest? Kanye is sufficient. He's one of the few artists you can call by first name now. He's so brave that you just... You've got to give in. <laughs> Daniel, you need two more points, mate. Good luck. What is the highest mountain in North America? Tony. Mount McKinley. <laughs> you rock bastard. <laughs> you rock bastard. <laughs> I'm not going to do too many points. <laughs> and it's Denali. It's officially Denali now. You can't. No, I won't take it. Man. No, I'm not deducting him any, any, anything. Give him the points. No, no. no. It's it's the same thing. It's the same thing. thing. Stop being politically direct. It's a 2015 quiz and a new one. Oh, look at it then. I'll just bounce pop to the back. Don't win this bloody quiz, whatever you do, tell me. I don't think there's much chance of that. <laughs> that were evil. <laughs> Nothing short of pure evil. Les Monroe. <laughs> Les Monroe was the last surviving pilot of Operation Chastise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What nickname was <laughs> Ashton? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who defeated Juventus 3 1? <laughs> Tell me. Barcelona. Yep. Tony, don't do this to me now. <laughs> you say. Thanks. You're good at that, Mike, aren't you? Mm -hmm. 
Who was born? Michel Dimitri Shaloub. On the stage. Tell me. Or my shoes. Tell me. Please don't do this. So what's going to happen? Which former MP for Billericay dubbed the Ashton? Theresa Gorman. <laughs> Still not going happen. Could never happen. No chance. Name the Australian distance runner who set 17 world records but only gained one Olympic gold medal. Oh, one Olympic medal, sorry. Oh, Tell me. Ron Clark. Yeah, Ron Clark. Mm. Reset. Thanks. Who was? No. <laughs> Who was the boldest? At Debs? Gordon Honeycomb. Fuck me, what a good answer that was. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading hashtag current quiz, it's alright. <laughs> Debs, you're back. Yeah, you're yeah. back. Before that, everyone got the twos. Next one. Grossing $607 on its opening weekend. Who does Tim Roth play in the seventeen million Ashton? In the seventeen million dollar film United Passion, Tim Roth plays Seth Latter. A far cry from uh, the hateful eight, isn't it? Ashton. He's hateful, so I'll give him that. Yeah. Which company con conceded to surrender? $548 million to Apple in 2015. Daniel. Samsung. Mm. Well done. Well done to Michael. Can you do a favour? As uh, the reigning kind of uh, light speed quiz champion, could you give uh, Daniel the medal, please? Which medal? Where's the medal? Where's the medal? The medal somewhere. That one's still as well. It's here. There you go. Q twelve champion twenty fifteen. Thank you for that. That's it. You're all gonna go. Thank you much. Albert. Albert here. Thanks for the winning round. Just the round.